Hi, I am Robin Scott Elliott, and since this is my first official video as a time tunneler, I wanted to tell you a wee bit about my family's story, my family's history, because this is part of the reason why I became a writer and what got me interested in history. So this picture that hangs here in our house is of W.H. Anderson. This, this picture was given to me by my mum, it was given to her by her granny, because this is her husband, Bertie Anderson. Bertie's my great granddad. So Bertie was one of four boys who all went off to war in the First World War and who were all sadly killed. So when I was a boy, I was told about the story. When I grew up, I wanted to find out about how much of it was true and see what I could find, find about it. So I spent a couple of years working my way through archives and to family members to see what I could gather and find out about the family. This is some of the stuff I've got. So this is the story of the four boys. So here we've got the four. We've got Bertie, my great granddad, Ronnie, Charlie and Teddy. And this was taken obviously when, uh, a few years before the war. So when the war starts in 1914, they all join up the army because everyone's quite excited by war in those days because they didn't know what was going to come. Now the first one to go was here. This is Charlie. And Charlie was actually already in the army and he was in the Indian army because there were lots of Indian soldiers in the First World War. And in 1914, as soon as the war started, Charlie and his battalion and the Indian soldiers all went up to France. On December the 11th, 1914, they went into the trenches. Eight days later, what must have been like for the Indian soldiers suddenly in this freezing cold, muddy um, environment? Eight days later, there's a big attack. When they come back from the attack, Charlie's disappeared. There's no sign of him. So a telegram is sent to his dad, W.J. Anderson, Woodside Terrace, Glasgow. And this telegram says that uh, Charlie is reported missing. This does not mean necessarily that he is either killed or wounded. So that's in December 1914. And it wasn't until August 1915, so what's that, seven months later, that he was reported that he was actually dead. So the poor family had to hang on that time, not knowing what was happening to him. So the next one to go into the trenches was Ronnie here. Ronnie was a really tall man and he was so upset by his brother's death that he joined the same regiment um, and he went into the, into the trenches in 1915. In October 1915, he was killed in the trenches. And I found out about him being killed in a place called the National Archives in Kew. And this is where you can go if you want to find out about your family, if you want to dig into your family's history. This is where copies of all these documents are kept. You go down there, you make an appointment, and you, it's a bit like being a detective. You've got to pull the bits of the story together from all these different bits of information. And sometimes you have to wear white gloves because the papers are so old. Because remember, these are more than 100 years old, these papers. So that's two of the boys dead, and that leaves two of them. So the next one to go off to war was um, Teddy. This is Teddy here, because he joined what was to become the Air Force, and that's him in his pilot's costume. This is actually a picture of him flying the plane. You can see those planes there, how tiny they are. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want to go up in one of those. So, Teddy goes off to war, and we have here a letter. It's an actual letter that he wrote back from the front, and it says here, 1916 on the song. It's so delicate, it can't really touch it. So that's why it's in this plastic envelope. And then it gets to 19... 1918, so the last year of the war, in March 1918. This is an album that Nora, their mum, put together after the war. NK Nora Kerr Anderson, 1918. And we come to March 1918, and um, Teddy went up in his plane, and an engine failed, and he crashed, and he was killed. And you can see here this blue, blue and red flash here. Nora, his mum, collected this. This is actually his uniform, and I find it really quite amazing that that. You know, we can touch this and feel this today. And here, we've got this little calendar, March 19, 1918. And on the 16th of March, there's a little line through it, because that's when Teddy was killed. So that just leaves my great granddad. That just leaves uh, Bertie. And he's in the front line. Um, on March 25th, there was a big German attack. And reports of this got back to Glasgow. And no one knew what had happened to Bertie. So I have here these telegrams again, they come from the National Archive in Kew. And this is sent um, in April, so it's a few days later, and it's from his dad. He report, my son killed in action on the 21st, 5th. Is this true? The next day, they get a reply. 
because obviously they want to know if their last son is still alive. The next day, they get this telegram back saying, no report of any recent casualty. So that means that he might still be alive. Two days later though, his wife, Gertie, who lives near Loch Lomond, gets this telegram. Deeply regret, Lieutenant Colonel W.H. Anderson killed in action. So Bertie was dead. So all four of the boys who went off to war, they were all killed. And I found it amazing and really quite moving finding out the story because I found things like this, this notebook here, just an ordinary notebook. It's full of um, little poems and writings and this is, this is Bertie's notebook. And he had this with him in the trenches when he died and now we've got this, so that's a really precious thing to have. And I think it's really important for us as descendants to remember what our family have done, remember our family history, especially remember boys, because that's basically what they were, who, who had such short lives and, and, and died in war, and it's important that we remember them. And my writing challenge to you is, try and find out a story about your family. So find a granny or a granddad or an older relative and go and talk to them, ask them what they did when they were young, or if they've got any stories about your family that they could tell you, and then you can write a little story about it because it's really important that we remember our family histories. Thank you.